the World Wildlife Fund for Nature and the UP Forest Department recently geared up on a crucial joint task to counter the number of dolphins in the Gar Ganga region of Uttar Pradesh using modern technology like GPS. Gangetic dolphins that form the lifeline of the river Ganga have been seeing a rise in their numbers in the last three years. This also indicates that the quality of the river water is improving. Well, let us find out the need and the importance of keeping a watch on dolphins in India and what transforming steps led to the increase in the numbers of this endangered species. Hello and welcome, I am Shreya and you are watching the pamphlet. The videos we are watching shows a joint team comprising the officials of WWF and UP Forest Department. The team is trying to count Gangetic dolphins. Gangetic dolphins are found in the Ganges, Brahmaputra, Meghna and Karnafuli river system of India, Nepal and Bangladesh. The presence of dolphins in the river is one of the important indicators of whether the river is clean or not. Generally, if the water quality of the river is degraded, then we would hardly find any dolphins in there. But rivers free from dirt, chemical waste and other impurities would house happily floating marine species. Decades back, there was a time when we could find a huge dolphin population in Ganga across the states. Then there came a time when we could hardly spot a dolphin jumping around. Over decades, the chemical and other waste from different cities along the river resulted in oxygen level of the river water going down. The process in turn resulted in almost an extinction of the dolphins in the river. There was such a drastic reduction in their numbers that they have been registered as endangered species by IUCN since 1996. They have also been granted protection under Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. In 2005, the 85 km stretch from Bridge Ghat in Hapur to Narora in Buland Sheher was declared a Ramsar site. This initiative was undertaken to protect the Gangetic dolphins, which were majorly found in this area. In 2009, Gangetic dolphins were declared as National Aquatic Animal of India to save them from extinction. Now, the major turning point in India's river and marine ecosystem was the launch of Namami Gange project in 2014. This is what Temsu Tula Imsong, known for her work to clean Ganga Ghats of Varanasi, has to say about it. Growing up, the notion of river rejuvenation and conservation, particularly in the context of the sacred Gangaji, often graced the pages of newspaper and resonated through the airwaves of our radios. It was a distant dream, a whisper of hope amidst the pollution and neglect that plagued our beloved river. But then came Namami Kange, a beacon of change that illuminated the path towards a brighter future. Namami Kange was not just another government initiative. It was a heartfelt tribute to the lifeline of our nation. From meticulous planning to unwavering implementation, and vigilant monitoring. It embodied the essence of what collaboration between the government and the public could achieve. This flagship scheme aimed at cleaning River Ganga by promoting afforestation, riverfront development, sewage treatment, infrastructure, industrial effluent monitoring, public awareness, establishing Ganga grams and special focus on marine biodiversity. With the completion of 23 projects under this ambitious scheme, the UP state has successfully restricted the flow of more than 460 MLD of sewage in River Ganga. Also, the pH level of the water has drastically improved, as could be seen in the levels of dissolved oxygen, biochemical demand and fecal coliform parameters. The clearing of the River Ganga gave a sense of fresh breath to the flora and fauna flourishing in the river. Temsu Tula Imsong has added how the Namami Gange project brings forth the results that were once manifested. It was, in essence, a template for catalyzing positive transformation. As time passed, the results began to manifest for all to witness. The once murky waters of the Ganges began to clear, revealing their pristine beauty. Aquatic flora and fauna, long suppressed by pollution, started to flourish once more. It was as if the river itself was breathing a sigh of relief, rejuvenated and reborn. Improving the health of River Ganga gained a faster pace now and thus restored back the Gangetic dolphins. These marine species, which were just 22 in number during the 2015 survey, has now slowly increased to 30 in 2016, then 32 in 2017, then 33 in 2018, 
35 in 2019 and then to 41 in 2020. A new people-centering initiative of Ganga Praharis was launched under the Namami Gange program. This was done to connect people with the river by providing them awareness about the importance of dolphins in our biodiversity. Several dolphins have been rescued since then and even the fishermen now became more aware to not disturb their habitat. Now there came another historic initiative when PM Modi during his Independence Day speech in 2020 announced the launch of Project Dolphin on the lines of Project Tiger for the conservation and protection of dolphins in the country using modern technology. Project Dolphin chalaya jayega. Nadiyo mein, samandar mein rehne wali dono tarar ki dolphins par hum focus karenge. Isse biodiversity ko bhi bal milega और रोजगार के अवसर भी मिलेंगे ये टूरिज्म के आकर्षण का भी केंद्र होता है तो इस दिशा में भी हम आगे बढ़ने वाले हैं इन द सेम ईयर द नेशनल मिशन फॉर क्लीन गंगा लॉन्च्ड अ डॉल्फिन बेस्ड इको टूरिज्म प्रोग्राम कॉल्ड डॉल्फिन सफारी एट सिक्स साइट्स इन थ्री स्टेट्स इंक्लूडिंग यूपी बिहार एंड वेस्ट बंगाल Alongside this, another initiative, My Ganga, My Dolphin, was launched to integrate the conservation of both Gangetic Dolphin and Ganga along with the local livelihoods, which is in line with the concept of Artha Ganga. Another part of this initiative was to conduct a dolphin survey in a 250km stretch from Bijnor to Narora. In fact, it was decided that the dolphin census would take place every three years starting from 2022. As per a report by NMCG, there are about 2,500 to 3,000 total population of Gangetic dolphins, out of which 80% inhabit the Ganga and its tributaries. The statistics show a fair amount of increase in the species of dolphins in the river. However, the journey to revive this important Gangetic species is a long one. As Temsu Tula says, the dedicated Namami Gange project has shown us that the dreams could be turned into reality. Though the journey ahead is still a lengthy one, we find solace in knowing that we are on the right path. Namame Kange has shown us that with dedication, perseverance, and collective effort, we can heal and protect our cherished natural wonders. It has taught us that the dream of a cleaner, healthier Kangaji is not just a dream, it is a reality in the making. NMCG in collaboration with the Wildlife Institute of India and WWF India has planned to create a charter that will aim to enhance the population of Gangetic dolphins by 2030. In 2022, on demand of wildlife conservationists, October 5th was declared as National Dolphin Day by the National Board for Wildlife. This gave a unique identity to this endangered creature, which was slowly returning back to the Indian waters. As of now, to provide a research space for the dolphins, Asia's first dolphin research center is expected to be ready by October this year in Patna, Bihar. Also, to increase the number of dolphins, India's first dolphin breeding center was proposed to be built in Hastinapur, Merat in 2021. And this year, another breeding center for dolphins has been proposed by the West Bengal Forest Department. This is set to be built along the stretch of Ganga between Farakka and Ganga Sagar area, which house around 650 Gangetic dolphins as per WII survey. Now, as I mentioned at the very beginning, currently an initiative named Meri Ganga, Meri Dolphin 2023 campaign has been launched, where dolphins are counted through GPS and River Ganga, from Muzaffarpur Baraj to entire Narora Baraj. India is now slowly and steadily implementing various initiatives to lower down the status of Gangetic dolphins in the IUCN list from endangered to maybe just vulnerable or threatened. Let us know in comments what other major initiatives the government should undertake to fulfill this aim.